This is James Barragan with the Austin American Statesman reporting from Onion Creek where a year after one of the most devastating floods to ever hit the city, there's still a lot of uncertainty about the fates of many of the residents of the area. A year later, there's still lots of debris outside many of the homes and it's evident that a lot of them left pretty much in a hurry. Some homes still have their Halloween decorations from last year and as you go through the area, area you'll see these green circles on many of the homes that just means that they've been cleared by the city and will be set for demolition soon down the street from where I was talking to some folks there's excavators and bulldozers pretty much clearing what used to be um, a block of homes or whatever remains of those homes hundreds of homes have been bought out hundreds of others are still in the process and there's a small minority of residents who want to stay and kind of fight the city but in the end the city has the power to use eminent domain to clear the area. So on Springville Lane there's this mailbox which is kind of representative of the area. It's it's a mailbox that's pretty much all that's left from what used to be a home and because they're trying to clear the area and the city can use them in a domain it's kind of representative of the fate that many of these homes expect in the future.